I think it's a phenomenon what is happening there. There are much bigger experts to sales prices into the finance world than me that are writing about it and thinking about it. Uh, we are happy with where we are. We are very happy to have all our cinemas open all around our 10 territories. And we are more than this even happy to see how the customers are embracing the cinema, going back into the cinema, and we are really waiting for a very strong season to come. What about the relative advantage that uh, AMC has had in, it, in being able to, to raise quite a lot of capital, uh, whether they use that to pay down debt or, or for acquisitions uh, or other forms of investment? Are you envious uh, that they've been able to do that? Look, Cineworld also raised something which is close to $1 billion uh, since COVID started. Uh, we didn't need so much. Uh, as AMC needed. On the other hand, AMC had this really amazing ride of the share price uh, that helped them in the last two or three months. Uh, I think we are in a good position and uh, uh, I cannot talk about the future of my share price. I'm not allowed, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm confident that with the comeback of the industry, we will see more of this as well. What about the future of the industry, Mookie? Do you expect to see a lot of consolidation here? Uh, look, I, I think the industry was already in process of consolidation. If you look at us, you know, uh, we consolidated with Cineworld. We were a big European player. We consolidated 2012 with Cineworld in the UK. We then took over Regal in 2018. Uh, I, I think consolidation in the industry uh, will continue. Uh, we are looking with interest also at other countries, but also in our own markets on all kinds of opportunities. But at the end of the day, I believe that the industry as a whole is going to come back very quickly, much quicker than people think, to 2019 numbers. And, and you're expecting that to be a global phenomenon? As we know, you, you've got much higher exposure in places uh, like the UK and Europe. Uh, are you seeing people come back quickly? I think uh, UK, for example, only reopened a couple of weeks ago for you. Yeah, so, so UK opened three weeks ago and uh, we were even surprised ourselves by the results and, uh, with movies that played very well, like Peter Rabbit, Cruella, Quiet Place. Uh, the numbers were good. Uh, we are still ahead of the big titles, you know, Fast and the Furious 9, Black Widow, which are all coming on the way now and uh, this. But the same was in the U.S. But I think if we take one step for, uh, backwards and we look at what happens in China, in Japan, in Korea, Korea just had the highest uh, weekend uh, uh, since pandemic started, you know, uh, last week, you know, and one of the best ever uh, weekends that they had. China broke record. Uh, uh, these countries were ahead of us of getting out of the pandemic, but we see now that the numbers are growing. I can say as a small territory where I come from, which is Israel, just had a record-breaking weekend in the last, and this was only the second weekend since Israel opened. So we see that people really are missing the cinema, wants to go back to the experience. As much as you can have entertainment at home, there is nothing like going out to the movies. There is a big difference. You can love movies, see movies at home, see movies in the cinemas, but in the cinema is a different experience. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.